What's up everyone? So I got a quick public service announcement today. A little bit of education for you on why masks never worked for the C-virus. Now this is not to make anybody feel bad, but it's really for educational purposes. I really want you guys to understand this so we understand what we're protecting ourselves from and what we're not. And uh, this was prompted by, I went to a restaurant yesterday. Uh, I saw somebody walking with a mask. I thought, oh, well, maybe he you know, has some kind of cough or something and he's trying to keep it from getting all over. And, uh, but then he sat down, took the mask off. And then his significant other came in a few minutes later, and he got up, gave her a kiss, sat back down, mask was still off, didn't cough once the entire time he was there. So I just think it's a misunderstanding on how these things work, right? There's no, there's no mystical quality to it. It's not even really science that we have to look at. We have to look at math. So really quickly, so the, um, the C-virus, it, it, it ranges from about 60 to 140, it's a range because they're different, 60 to 140 nanometers, okay? What's a nanometer? Well, it takes 1,000 nanometers to make a micrometer, okay? It takes 1,000 micrometers to make a meter. So we're looking at basically, individually, their uh, a nanometer is one billionth the size of a meter, okay? So very, very tiny particle, very, very tiny uh, virus. Now, that's not super significant because the virus was never airborne. It travels in droplets. Um, so it doesn't matter how big the virus is. It matters how big the droplet is. This is not the scale, by the way, guys. Uh, I just wanted little visuals. So it, it matters how big the droplet is because the droplet's what's going to pass through the mask. Okay. So uh, how big are the droplets? Well, the droplets are anywhere between 5 and 10 micrometers. Okay. Um, so you could fit a whole bunch, again, not the scale, you could fit a whole bunch of these C viruses in with, you know, that little droplet, okay? But here's the thing, surgical masks, which are better than some of the gators and other masks I saw out there, but surgical masks themselves, while they protect from larger viruses, they, the pores, are anywhere between 10 and, oh, sorry, 10, yeah, sorry, 20 and 100 uh, micrometers. So 20 and 100 to 100 is the range. So let's look at it. So we've got the particle, the blue, with a bunch of these little viruses in it, okay? And this, so this whole thing, the whole particle itself, the whole droplet, okay? On the highest end, that's 10 micrometers. On the very lowest end for a surgical mask, the pores are 20 micrometers. And you may say, well, it's catching some of it. And that is true, it's catching some of it, but it doesn't matter because the, if, I'm, if I'm going with the smallest pore in, in, a, in a surgical mask, a typical surgical mask, and the largest particle, the particle is still half the size. So some are getting through. And the thing is, say, well, it's protecting you some, it's not because you don't need a whole bunch to get through. You only need a few particles to get through in order to get infected with something like that that was that infectious, okay? So hopefully this makes sense. Hopefully you understand why they did not work. And um, we just gotta use a little bit of math, of course science, but this is really a math thing. This is really, does it protect you? Now, lastly, last but not least, the N95 masks do work, but nobody's walking around with those outside of the hospital, okay? And if you are, you have to make sure it's fitted. If it's not fitted, it's null and void anyway, okay? So um, I'm not saying there aren't masks that worked, uh, but the masks that people were wearing for a long time, and the one this guy was wearing yesterday was a cloth one, which probably the pores are even larger than a surgical mask, but regardless, let's say they're the same. They're just not working for smaller viruses, which is what the C virus was and the droplets, which were very small as well. Anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, no hate, just, just out here to educate everybody. Stay strong.